Hey, Ronde. Uh, I know you basically spent since the spring running different routes from different alignments and different splits. Walk us through the game-winning route. What's kind of the key to uh, to getting where you need to be there? Um, it was kind of a post corner. That was the route that I had. But he was when I gave him a move at the top, he was so far inside and jumped inside. So I just ran straight to the corner. And I knew I, I wouldn't have time. They were going to bring that pressure. So I just had to do it quick. They were in man damn near the whole game. Um, question for both guys. Just wonder if you could kind of tell us what's, what it's like in that locker room right now and just kind of what this what it's like celebrating this win right now. Uh, it's a lot of excitement uh, after that win, obviously. It was a close game, but um, we just on to the next game tomorrow. And um, we got another game on Friday. I really just studying film all week with Coach Acuff and Coach White, you know, just scheming it up and just executing really. That was just like just the game plan to execute and that's what we did. Uh, for Caleb, what was going on in your head when you saw that ball flying your way that you picked off? Uh, yeah, I mean, it was. I was really thinking that JT was about to get a sack. So, you know, just trying to get back there, and uh, he threw the ball, and I caught it, score. So. You're also joined by uh, Gary Schrager as well now, Jordan back, and Alex after that. Uh, Black shirt on the podium back there. Uh, Jordan, what was the Hey, what's up, Caleb? I know you usually wait for uh, the podcast to drop. What's up, man? Oh, but who are you giving the mob award to for this game? Uh, stay tuned. This week it drops. You're going to find out. Well played. If so. That was a good answer. <laughs> this is for any of you guys. Um, last year you lost a lot of really close games. This year I know it's still early, but you just won a really close game. What's been the difference this year? Uh. I think our togetherness, you know, off the field, I think this team is really together and we really care for each other. And it showed today, you know, when we were down, the game was going back and forth, just pushing, you know, just speaking that the game's not over till it's over. And it wasn't over till it's over. So it's a blessing. Uh, for Garrett and Aranda, of course, that last play stands out. But in the entirety of the second half, it seemed like you two had a good connection uh, through the air. What changed in that second half, and what do you really want to highlight that that you know pinpointed that connection in the second half? Um, just doing what we do in practice. Uh, we, we do it every day. Uh, we got that connection in the game. I think the biggest thing was just routine plays for me. Um, I don't think I could have played a worse first half, but I'm excited for the outcome. You know, defense really picked it up for us, and special teams as well. And you know, talking about that togetherness, we need. You know, it, we could not have done it without them today. But um, just for the second half is just making routine plays that we're used to making. And, um, you know, I got it in my own, own head. And, uh, you know, I was going through some things this week as well, so I put us behind. But, um, you know, awesome team win. And uh, now we got to get ready for Virginia. Uh, this is for Garrett. I mean, you had teams, I feel like, daring you to beat man for a lot of last year. This is obviously a different team this year. What does it do to – to hit those balls when it matters, to hit Isaiah on the back shoulder ball, and obviously Aronde, looking at the season, to, to have a performance like this against a coverage plan like that. You know that I mean it was a little bit different because they still didn't. They just that's what they do. You know they play man. They weren't really clamping us and stopping the run in that sense. But um, you know it was desirable that those guys. Could, hats off to them. You know it's a solid team. They covered really well um, for the most part, and then. Um, but when it came down to it, you know, we just didn't make as many plays as we should have and normally do, and uh, we'll get that cleaned up, and I got no doubt, you know, just a little bump in the road, and we're, we're past that, and we came out strong in the second half. This is for any of you. Um, being here three games in, three wins, how does it feel? Uh, I mean, it's, it's, it's a blessing first, and um, I think it's just good momentum going into this, this four-game home stretch that we got. And uh, obviously, we're going to watch film tomorrow. You know, things that we could have did better, of course. But obviously, we're going to celebrate today and uh, 24 hour rule, and we're back to work tomorrow. Uh, we're back to the, uh, the front row, then top, oh, sorry, 
This question's for Garrett. Garrett, I know you got uh, knocked down on that last throw to a Ronde there. Were you able to, to see it, or were you just kind of waiting for the cheers? Did you have a good view? Uh, I did. I saw, I saw his hands reach out at the end, and uh, I didn't see him catch it, but I didn't see him stretch his hands out. But it was the cheers kind of answered the, you know, what I didn't see. Contact scores. Yeah. Uh, question for Garrett. Um, we heard from a Ronde before you got in, but just wondering what you saw in that last touchdown and – if you could just kind of take us through what you were seeing on that play. Um, I mean, it was, they were playing a lot of man coverage. They were trying to, that last, uh, they, were, they were blitzing us hard that last drive and, um, you know, try to get outside the edge and, you know, create, there's a bunch of lanes. But um, on that particular play, they, they manned us up. And I don't know if they had an inside leverage, but he did a good job slipping outside and, you know, took a high angle like, like we preach. And uh, I just threw it out there and, he, you know, he ran it down and made a heck of a catch. For Garrett and Aranda, you guys were both in this offense last year with a different OC. What have Robert and I and Jason Beck done to revolutionize this offense and change it from last year to this year? Uh, first, they switched my position from outside receiver to in the slot, tight end, wherever. And uh, we just had different concepts. It's not the same that we had last year. A lot was run heavy. Uh, Coach and I, coming from a pass-heavy team, I think really gave us what we needed to win games, especially tight games. For any of you, what did Coach say to you guys uh, at halftime, and who was the vocal leader from on the team that maybe got got you guys a little kick in the butt? I mean, we weren't. You no, know, the defense was playing hard; they were doing their thing, so they were. We were not worried. Um, the coaches did a good job. I, you know, I'll speak. You know, defense. You know, the linebackers, Caleb, and those guys were really getting us going. So we were trying to figure our stuff out. We were talking. And, uh, you know, kind of that confidence from them boosted us up. And, um, but the coaches, you know, along with that. And, um, but uh, we knew we were going to come out and we were going to start clicking the second half. So, you know, there was not a lot of, you know, blaming and finger pointing. We were just, you know, let's go get going. Go back to that side, Connor and then Steven. Garrett, can you kind of talk about how prepared you felt in that situation, one minute left, needing a touchdown, how much you guys have worked on that in practice, and how prepared you felt for that moment? I think we did it ever since spring, you know, camp. We did it almost every day. So um, in that exact situation, too, 51 seconds, and, you know, we done it with no timeouts, but um, when we wrapped it. But those penalties were huge. You know, they didn't keep their composure, and uh, so and that makes it that much easier because that the time and downs is the most important thing. But having those two penalties there to push us up forward was big, and we had a great return, return by Courtney as well. We'll start with Steven right in front. Uh, for Garrett and Aranda, feels like a while ago, but the first touchdown on the fourth and one, could you walk me through the play call, what you saw Garrett, and then what you saw Aranda? Uh, I mean, I kind of wanted to QB sneak it at first, but uh, I, mean, I should have checked out the play before. But, um, you know, it was a setup to all of our inside, inside run stuff on, you know, fourth and short. And, uh, the first first read, second and first two reads really weren't there, and they played it really well. And then, sure enough, I had one. I missed him on the one that they were holding. Uh, I should have hit him for a touchdown earlier. So it was the same exact play, except for you know just you know I, I got off got off it a lot quicker than I did the other one. So you know that's how I found him. Last couple we have. Caleb, the defense had a little bit of trouble in the first half getting to O'Connell. That changed second half, especially on your touchdown that you had. Can you just talk about the adjustments that you guys made in game and maybe even at halftime to fix that? Yeah, I mean, going into the week, um, shout out to Coach White and Coach Acuff, like we kind of had a game plan that they were getting the ball out fast. So obviously that's, that's what they were doing. They were getting it out quick, running screens. Um, they weren't really giving us time to rush, but we just changed up our pressures and we were just getting back there and just changing our mentality. Like we just decided that we had to get home. And that's what we did. Garrett, how um, hard was it to stay patient um, for the, your offense uh, when Purdue's D was just not letting Tucker do anything? Well, I mean, they had a great game plan, and you know they, they were running with the stuff they were running. Um, inevitably, if you got a good running back, they're going to try to stop them. But um, you know, I just I, I credit our lack of success was to me not making routine plays and doing what I was supposed to, and you know, 
for whatever reason, but we were able to overcome that. And, uh, you know, guys were starting to get open and uh, we were safe. We just got settled into the game and, um, you know, came out with a, with a good result. Last one to for Garrett and Caleb. Garrett, for you, on the first quarter, you took one of those runs. I think you bounced off the ground on your head. Just what you could say about the grit that you have out there. And Caleb, making history for yourself with an interception and a return. Just what that means to you and the mob mentality. Uh, uh, yeah, you I mean, I think it's everything, right? Um, but most importantly, we got the win. You know, I mean, it's definitely a blessing to have that pick, uh, pick six. But at the same time, I think going into this week, the message was for the guys that we're not leaving here without a, a victory. And um, that, like, that was the mindset all week, um, talking to the guys during practice, after practice, at halftime last night before the game. And I think everybody came together and decided that we weren't going to leave here without a win. So I'm, I'm more happy that you know we have a 3-0 and start right now and we got some momentum behind us. And to the mob mentality, this is who we are. You know, and hopefully we can keep it going. Thanks, everybody. Um, yeah, no, I, I definitely ran the ball a lot more than I thought I would. And, you know, I, would, I wouldn't throw in the ball very well. You know, came out of the first two, I don't know, just was not ready to play. And um, so, sorry, I had to pick up in the legs, you know, and um, able to make some of that stuff work. But, you know, ultimately we got our stuff going later and um, it was able to work out. Now, thanks, everybody.